Let's try to see how we can represent graph using adjacency list. An adjacency list is nothing but an array of linked lists where each of the vertex or index is mapped to a linked list which contains all the adjacent nodes. So for example, if I take this node F, it means that there is an edge EF which has a weight of uh, 4. Let's try to see how we can implement this in Java. Alright, so I have created a new project and added the class graph example. Let's try to write the main method right here. Let's try to see how we can use the linked list class in Java. All the data structures are already implemented in Java and they are in the util package. So I'm going to import everything from this java.util package uh, using this java.util.star. Now I would have to use the linked list class. So actually linked list class implements the list interface. All right. In order to use linked list, we would have to create the object of the class linked list. Now in linked list, uh, after this linked list, we need to mention the data type of our linked list in between this uh, angular braces. This is known as the type parameter. We cannot add any primitive right here. We must have to use the wrapper class uh, for all of this. Let's name it, uh, name our list as n and I'm going to create new, new linked list. All right. So instead of using this linked list, we could simply write list right here. But we cannot write list right here because list is nothing but an interface and interface we cannot create any object of an interface. Let's add some values using this add method. We can also mention the index where we want to add some values. Let's say that I want to add this value 108 at the beginning of this linked list. So I'm going to use this zero index. We could also print this list by using this object name. Let's try to execute this code and you can see everything is fine. Instead of printing all the values of this linked list using this object, we could iterate through each of the elements of this linked list using a range based for loop. The syntax is like this. First we need to mention the data type of this linked list. Here this is integer. We could also use this integer. It doesn't matter. We could use this and after this colon sign we can give the list name. Now I will iterate through each of the elements. Now I can print out uh, the value of i. All right. Now let's create an array of linked list. I need to mention the size right here. And I have created an array of 10 linked list. Now, if I try to add something at the zero width or any other linked list, it's going to throw an exception. Uh, so he here you can see that it has thrown null pointer exception because uh, it's not the actual linked list. 10 linked list is not created. It's actually created a reference to 10 linked list. Now, initially it's po pointing to null. So we need to traverse through this array and create an object of the linked list class and assign that to each of the elements of this array. So let's try to do this. I'm going to create an object of a linked list. And I'm going to assign that uh, to each of the elements of this array. Now, if I add something, it's going to add. So let's try to print zero with linked list in this way. All right. Let's add a couple of more values to other linked list also. Now I'm going to get rid of this stuff from right here. Okay. Now I can iterate through all the linked list. Uh, I can use iterate all the elements. And here as every item of this array is a linked list. So I could use the iterated through each iterate through all the linked list. Now let's try to print out this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to print this I and it means that what is the, uh, what is the content of the I linked list? So I can just simply write uh, L I nice. Now, it's uh, showing that oh 
I must have to add 9 right here because 10 is not a valid index so it's looking quite nice let's implement the actual adjacency list so I'm gonna separate everything inside a class called graph and I need to add a constructor right here so it must have to be public because if we want to create some object outside this package the constructor must have to be public and I'm gonna uh, get the number of vertex as a parameter of this constructor so whenever we will be creating the object of this graph we need to mention the number of vertices uh, at the time of object creation now now I need to add a private member right here that would be our actual array of linked list but just a minute should I have to create an array of uh, linked list of type integer? No, not at all. Because if there is a there is an edge uv in the graph, uh, then in the uth linked list, uh, there must be a node which contains v and the corresponding weight of that object. So we need to create our own user defined type. So that for that, I'm gonna create a class called edge, and inside this class edge, I need v that is the end vertex and the corresponding weight. So I'm going to add another constructor public edge. It would take a V and as well as W. So it's going to set uh, these dot V equals to V and these dot W equals to W. All right. So now we can create an array of this type edge. So I'm going to create an array of linked list uh, list, which would be of type edge and just name it graph now in the constructor let's create the array of linked list so I have created the array of linked list and created a new object and assigned to each of the elements of this array we are done we have created the blank graph we can overwrite the two string method uh, uh, to print the graph by using simply the object name for that we need to traverse the entire graph and so for that I'm gonna use a range based for loop let's take a blank string result and I'm gonna traverse through entire linked list okay before that I should overwrite the two string method right here also you may be confused what I'm doing right now but you need not to worry about that I will be explaining all the things what I am trying to do right now so in this I'm gonna simply return uh, uh, V plus a comma plus uh, W uh, W plus all right so whenever the object of this edge class will be given to the print ln function uh, that should be uh, that should print this one that is the n vertex and w for that we need to override this two string method so if we want to print something by only the object name we must have to override the two string method so I will be also overriding the two string method right here because I want to print the entire graph by only using the object name of that graph so let's try to traverse the graph so it's ac actually nothing but an array of linked lists so I'm gonna just simply use a normal for loop uh, let's take okay all right now what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna so I'm gonna print the entire linked list right now all right so what's wrong with the oh I need to return this uh, I can't print right here so I need to add everything in this result and I'm gonna add a new line and simply return the result so now I have created an object of this graph so I have mentioned that I want to store 10 vertices so now I am gonna print this graph and you can see that a blank graph is created now in here we need to add the edges so I will be using this add edge function which would take u, v and w. u is the start vertex, v is the end vertex and w is the corresponding weight. So I'm gonna add in the uth linked list. Uh, so in the uth linked list, I am creating a new object of edge which contains the end vertex as well as the weight. But you may be wondering why I'm uh, using this zero, not just simply 
this new edge well i am actually i want to add this edge at the beginning of this linked list because time complexity for insertion at the beginning of this link of the linked list is big o of 1 but at the end of the linked list it would take a big o of n amount of time which is uh, not good at all so that's why i am adding all the values at the uh, beginning of this linked list all the nodes at the beginning of this linked list okay before printing let's add a couple of edges 0 to 2 where it should be 10 uh, to uh, 0 to 5 where it should be 15 all right uh, okay now let's try to print this print this graph awesome it's added the entry i have added some more edges now let's try to write this is connected method it would return true if uh, the vertex u and v is connected by an edge otherwise it would return false so i'm gonna tra traverse uh, to the g u with link list and i'm gonna search if uh, i dot v equals to equals to v it should return true because i have found an uh, entry v otherwise it should return false all right let's try to check uh, after printing this graph whether uh, uh, 2 and 3 is connected or not let's run this code it's it has returned false now let's try to check whether 9 and 3 is connected or not so it has returned true all right so we have implemented graph using adjacency list but uh, there is an uh, there is a limitation that uh, the vertex must have to be labeled with numbers but in real life, vertex can be labeled with anything. It may be the name of cities, whatever. So in my next video, I will be showing you how we can implement adjacency list for any kind of graph using hash map. Keep watching my videos.